Okay, now we're going to be looking at 4 and 5. So, calculate the arc length of the following sectors around your answer to two decimal places. So, what you need to do, you need to consider that normally there's 360 degrees in a circle. And if I do a very rough circle, something like that, that's 360 degrees. But we're only trying to figure out this part here. So that's only going to factor in 85 out of those 360 degrees. So that means you would use your normal circumference formula, but you have your angle 85 out of that 360 to start it off. That times 2 pi r, 2 pi and radius of 40. Multiply that all together and you end up getting your answer of 59.34 centimeters. Now we're gonna apply the same logic for the next question. Obviously this one's gotta have a couple different values. It's only got 20 degrees, only a very small part of the total circle. So 20 over 360 times 2 so pi and then you have the radius which is 1 meter 1 and then when you multiply that all out on your calculator you're going to get 0.35 meters much smaller answer because very small angle and also there's only one in front of this unit so we're not dealing with big numbers there when it comes to C, same sort of thing again. 250 out of 360, almost three quarters of that circle. Multiply that by two pi and then 340 mil. They're all multiplying by each other. And the answer you end up getting when you multiply all them out will be 1,483 and 53 is what it will round to. Okay, now for the last one here, D, we have an angle of 180 out of 360. Oops, not sure what's happening there. That's half of the circle times pi. This time, instead of doing the 2 pi r, we're going to just do the pi diameter because we've got the diameter here all the way from one side of the circle to the other. So pi times 2. Now, the answer that you end up getting here will be a little bit funny because you're getting half times 2 equals 1. 1 times pi, you end up just getting the value of pi, which... 3.141, which will obviously round down to just 3.14 kilometers. I forgot my units over here. Okay, so that's how you would end up doing that one. Now, it actually is asking for calculating the perimeter of each of these sectors. For question five, for all of the question four ones, you need the perimeters. So instead of just figuring out the arc length, which is this, it also wants uh, what is the length, length of that side and the length of that side, because perimeter means a lap all the way around, not just the curved part. So because we already have our answers for the curved part, we just need to add radiuses to that. So for this first one over here, We've already got 59.34. .3, we just need to add two lots of 40 centimeters to that. One lot for this side and one lot for that side. Okay? So 40 and 40 is 80. 80 plus 59.34 will get you 139.34 centimeters will be the answer for that one. For this one over here, B, you need to add two lots of a meter. It's a meter from there to there, 
and it's a meter from here to here, and we've already figured out that curve part is 0.35. So 0.35 plus one meter plus another meter, that ends up getting 2.35 meters. Sorry about the terrible two. So that's the answer for that one. For C, we'll, we've already got our answer here, and we just need to add 340 twice, which is 680. You add 680 to your value that you've got there, and you end up getting 2163.53. Now, if for whatever reason you didn't have all the values, if for whatever reason you were trying to work it out from scratch, all you're really doing is working out the curve and then just adding them on afterwards. So you would actually just do what we had already done earlier. But anyways, because we've already done it, we've got our 3.14, that is the distance from there to here. And now this time we just have to add the diameter because that's all that we're missing, that. From top to bottom, which is two kilometers, two kilometers plus 3.14 kilometers, two kilometers plus 3.14 kilometers will be 5.14 kilometers. And that's the answer for that one. So yeah, that's how you do arc length of the following sectors and the perimeter of those sectors. Um, yeah, just let me know if you've got any queries about what I've just spoken about.